May 24th The Delight of Despair And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. Revelation 1, verse 17 It may be that, like the Apostle John, you knew Jesus Christ intimately, when suddenly he appears with no familiar characteristic at all, and the only thing you can do is to fall at his feet as dead. There are times when God cannot reveal himself in any other way than in his majesty, and it is the awfulness of the vision which brings you to the delight of despair. If you are ever to be raised up, it must be by the hand of God. He laid his right hand upon me. In the midst of the awfulness, a touch comes, and you know what is the right hand of Jesus Christ, the right hand not of restraint nor of correction nor of chastisement, but the right hand of the everlasting Father. Whenever his hand is laid upon you, it is ineffable peace and comfort. The sense that, underneath, are the everlasting arms, full of sustaining and comfort and strength. When once his touch comes, nothing at all can cast you into fear again. In the midst of all his ascended glory, the Lord Jesus comes to speak to an insignificant disciple and to say, Fear not. His tenderness is ineffably sweet. Do I know him like that? Watch some of the things that strike despair. There is no despair in which there is no delight, no horizon, no hope of anything brighter. But the delight of despair comes when I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. I delight to know that there is that in me which must fall prostrate before God when he manifests himself. And if I am ever to be raised up, it must be by the hand of God. God can do nothing for me until I get to the limit of the possible.